Good morning and welcome to our conversations on behalf of Baseball WA. My name is Don Butler and it is Tuesday the 2nd of August 2022. This interview is being conducted at 85 Mindari Drive in Quinns. Today it is an honour to welcome my guest Tony Medeljian. Tony was one of a few unique Western Australian sportsmen to represent the state in two sports, baseball and cricket. Tony was a part of the Gucci era at Swan Districts Club before moving to East Perth and then Wanneroo. He represented WA at six Claxton Shield series between 1957 and 67 and being named All Australian in 1957. And Tony, 59. And 59. And 59. And also coached at Claxton Shield level yeah. in Adelaide in 74 yeah. and Brisbane in 70. Yeah. It was a 74, 72. I it was 71 or 72. But yeah. A pioneer of the Wanneroo Baseball right. Club, Tony was instrumental in gaining A-grade status in the State League. He was awarded life membership of the Wanneroo Baseball Club in 1984 and was inducted recently into the WA Baseball Hall of Fame. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Can I start by asking if you agree to this interview and give the rights to Baseball WA? Certainly can. You were born in Middle Swan, 2J Road, on the 18th of February 1934. So was that a hospital or just a house? No, a house call. Sorry? House call. Just a house call. Yeah, they used to do birth. that. Home, Home birth. birth. They call it. Well, they used and to call it the house. Did you have, did you have older brothers and sisters? Where were yeah, you well, I family? had three, three other brothers. Uh, mm. My sister died. Uh, just after she was born. You know. mm. yeah, so, so what number were you in the family? Bottom number. Oh, you were the baby. <laughs> number four. Oh, right. number I, I can go through the story with you if you like. Yeah. yeah my dad come out here years ago. Yeah. My dad come out here years ago and... Uh, from where? By, from Yugoslavia, yeah. Hwa, yeah. which is between uh, Dubrovnik and, and the mainland. Yeah and uh, a little island, uh, 51 kilometres wide. And uh, then he brought my brother out, my oldest brother out, and then after a while he brought my wife, my mum and... My mum and, and uh, the rest of the brothers, mm. Mike and I. And what year was that again? Oh, I can't remember. tell you. Can't remember. Yes, uh, that's yeah. I was born in 1934, so she yeah, would have so been 32 or 33. It would have been between the wars. Yeah, yeah. So was he was he on a vineyard? What was he doing? No, he was down at Kirup, cutting sleepers. All the, all the foreigners come and yeah. went down to Kalgoorlie. Or, or oh, yeah, they had to work for the government. Yeah, they? had to work, yeah. pay their fare. Yeah. Ten pounds. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so you lived all your early life... Yeah. In in the Middle Swan area. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right through till uh, till we got married. Mm. Mm. So you, you would have gone to school at Middle Swan. Yeah, the Middle Swan School and the orphanage boys. Yeah, were right. From Swan Lee, were mm. there about eight hundred children. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, all up. So was that um, the original Middle Swan School? Yeah, where the Shire is now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah they use that as a workshop. Great big long building with veranda. They use that as a workshop. Yep, yeah. Mm. So the kids you grew up with? Keith Slater, number one. Yeah. Uh, Keith Slater and I used to play cricket in an old tram that he had on his property at uh, Great Northern Highway. Where did he live? Just the corner of uh, Two Joe Road and Great Norton Highway. There's a park, oh, yeah. and his house was north of that. Oh right. And uh, when it was raining, we played cricket in there, and you hit sixes and fours oh, and yeah. outs, and yeah. all marked on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> tennis ball. And, uh, yeah, tennis ball mostly, or cricket ball, but we yeah. didn't play it hard. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So. Um, did, what uh, grade did you go through at, at school? Oh, I went did to the normal 14-year-old. Yes, yeah, so that was about... Went home to the vineyard. Yeah, to uh, about, well, I think it might have been grade 10, I think it was. Yeah. Like, did you do your junior certificate? No. Okay. No, yeah. So yeah. then you went to, what was your first job? Uh, at the vineyard. I worked there for a couple of years. And then Whose vineyard was that? The 
uh, Jane Brook, Wigner Court Wines, oh, Jane okay. Brook. Right. Yeah, it's on that property. Yeah. And uh, we had 51 acres right. of wines. And then um, I was mad on trucking. Yeah. I used to see these trucks go fast and yeah. I was jealous that I couldn't drive a truck. Yeah. And uh, so I talked Dad into getting a truck yeah. after yeah, a long, long battle. Yeah. <laughs> Only the fact my brother was a mechanic oh, from okay. the world. Uh, the army. Oh, yeah. He learnt mechanics up there in the army at Bar right. Bar Bar, right. and uh, he uh, he bought the truck and we started logging up at TJ Road, mm. and then we went down to Perth to Harvey and back right. for eighteen years. Just taking you back to those school days, uh, what sort of sport did you play at uh, school? Well, Cricket. Just cricket. <laughs> cricket and football. And, and football. Fo- yeah, uh, just Slater, as, a, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you a story about Keith Slater if you want to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. We were playing on the middle and oval, and you know, the track like that, mm. and the ovals like that. Mm. And I was in the goal mouth, and Keith Slater was late, so he'd come running out from the change rooms, and he went up in the air behind me and mm. grabbed the ball and landed right on my. His chin on my head. Oh, <laughs> split his chin. <laughs> <laughs> this was in later years. Was this at school? It's at school sports. Oh, at school yeah, sports. Middle and over. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, so um, baseball wasn't on the on the horizon. No, then? no. We played cricket from the, down at um, Guildford Meadows. Mm. That was the under sixteen things. Mm. And uh, then we. Finished early one day, and so we decided to call into Midland Reserve, mm-hmm. and right near the workshops, uh, the Oval there. Oh, the MR That's, Reserve. Yeah, the MR Reserve. Where's That's Centre where we played. Today. That's where Swan District played. Yeah. And I watched this bloke pitch, and he's curving the ball like that much, you mm. know, about a, half a metre. Who was know, that? Brian Crutchett. Right. And we said, wow, how can he do that? Mm. We knew how to bowl a foot, a cricket ball, ball, but not a swing it. A baseball. So we asked him about it, and he wouldn't tell us. No, uh, no, no, wouldn't tell us. No. And what sort it's, of an age difference was there between you and him? Not a lot. I think uh, probably two or three years. Oh, He'd right? already pitched for three grand finals. Oh yeah. And when we come there, he pitched the fourth grand final when yeah. I played A grade. Yeah. And then we won seven, like all together. Well, that, was in, that was in the Gooch era. Yeah. So um, if we can just touch on the cricket. Um, you started playing at Midland Oval. No, I started Middle Swan Oval under Jack Mann. Right. And his uh, cricket side was a pretty good matting mercantile side. Yeah. And uh, Keith Slater and I trained there for two years. He got one game. I got none. Oh, right. <laughs> How old would you have been then? Was this under 16s? Was yeah, it? Under, well, we were under 16, but they yeah. were adults. Oh, so you were playing in the senior group? Yeah, right? senior people. We were only oh, yeah. 13 and 14. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, he was so impressed, Jack, man, with Keith and myself. He's, yeah, right. So did you, you, were, you were fast bowling then? Actually, I was a batsman oh, yeah. at the time, and... Uh, Don McKenzie and Norm Beatty were the bowlers right. for Midland Guildford and uh, they sort of getting the end of their careers and oh. had no bowlers. Yeah. So uh, the captain asked Smithy, Irish Smith asked me, we have, I always used to put me with two overs yeah. every game. Oh, yeah. If doesn't matter how many wickets I got, I only got two, two overs. overs. <laughs> 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 and, uh, so anyway, after a while I got bowling and I got bowling mm. and I got better and better and better. And so you moved from Middle Swan into Midland Oval? Uh, yeah, with Midland, Midland Oval, Guildford. yeah, as the next sporting ground. Yeah, with Midland Guildford. Yeah. So yep. you played, did you play underage with Midland Guildford or did you go straight Yeah, under 16s. Well, you did. Down at the Meadows in Guildford. That was oh. our second ground. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where the B graders and yeah. all that played. So then you would have started playing. Uh, you went through seconds and thirds to get to A grade? No, no, I went to seconds only. Uh, no. It was, what was it called? Um, 
baseball, right? Yeah. At the baseball one we do it. Uh, I'm confusing yeah, no, the two right. sports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so um, you you obviously um, were successful enough in uh, with Midland Guildford yeah. A grade yeah. to be selected into the state team. Yeah, it took them a while. Mm. I had uh, three years. I got fifty one wickets or more, yeah. which had never been done mm. since or before mm. in consecutive years. Yeah. And uh, they picked me after I got the third one, right. and uh, then I played two games of cricket. Who, uh, who were you playing with at uh, Midland Guildford? Ken Ken Milman was the captain. Oh uh, right, yeah. Uh, he was from Victoria, wasn't he? Yeah, Victoria, br- brilliant batsman. Yeah, opening well, bat was. Stayed he? there for years, and yeah. his sons played. Yeah, yeah. Kenny was a brilliant captain. Yeah. Best. Ca- Batsman, I've seen not play test cricket. Yeah, you know, shocking. Who was your wicketkeeper? Uh, Paul Ronan. Oh yeah, I remember and then you. Uh, Dave Thomas. Davey Thomas. Yep, Davy. Mm. Three days gone. Did you win any premierships with Midland Guildford? No, we played in one. At uh, played North Perth at uh, the Wacker. Mm. We had them five for thirty-five. No, mm. five for fifty-three. Mm. Next ball I bowled. Got dropped by Kevin Gartrell at first slip. It'd look, it'd be Next ball I bowled, like, the bloke let it go. Next ball I bowled, he hit it to Keith Slater and he dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 7 for 53, yeah. we were 5 for 323. Or so so <laughs> being a left hander, your stock ball would have been like Mitchell Stark yeah. and then yep, Sonny yep, Walker. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he doesn't know how to bowl that properly. <laughs> he, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. He doesn't. He, he should be a better bowler than he is. Mm. You know, he bowls that one too for way too much. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they don't know, want to bring so the slips bowling, into play. Bowling in swingers, in swingers, then away. Yeah. So you could bowl away. Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. 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 I learned from Brian Crutchett. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you play. You played all your um, A-grade cricket with Midland Guildford at yeah. Midland Oval. Yeah, oh, no, I went to Mount Lawley and we lived at, at that shop. Oh, OK. So then we went to Mount Lawley and I got coach at Mount Lawley. Yeah. And the ironical part about it, there's two players that I brought into A-grade there. It was Terry Jenner and Ashley Mallet. Oh, the two spinners. Uh, two spinners. Oh. And I put, they were 16 years of age when I picked them in the A-grade side. Oh. Yeah. No, they went not to be the, the yeah. best. Yeah. And he actually coaches Warren. Yeah. He coached Warren. That's right. Terry, Terry Jenner. Jenner. Yeah. And yeah, I big c- influence. Yeah. So yeah. there's a feather in there. So, so coming back to um, uh, the days at Midland, uh, your interest in baseball was sparked by watching Crutchett at yeah. the MR yeah. Reserve. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, how would you? How old would you have been when you started playing baseball? Uh, would be. We played B grade, so we mm. were too old for juniors. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So we went from B B grade. I went to B grade to A grade. Right. Yeah. And who were you playing with? Some name players there uh, in, in that Gucci era. There was some name yeah, players. Yeah, Gucci, Crutchett, Teddy mm. Pettit. Mm. Uh, but, but what's his name? Uh, Alf Bryant. Oh yeah. He was a beauty. Yeah. Alfie, Desi Ward, yeah. uh, Winky Walker. We, they, they come a bit later. Oh, were they? Yeah. Him and um, Desi Peter Ward, Cahoon, Peter, Peter Cahoon, Kay Green. Yeah. Okay, of course. Yeah. Did you play uh, cricket with Peter Cahoon? Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. Yes. You, you yeah. would have moved to Mount Lawley by then, probably. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he should have came up yeah. later. Yeah. Well, Kevin but Gartrell played in that game. Yeah, Kevin too. Gartrell, yeah. You can't have a standing without the Gartrells. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Midland, no. <laughs> Not in Midland. No. No. So, um, how old would you reckon you would have been when you first started playing A grade? <sighs> yes. Yeah. But 20? Uh, Younger than 20. I was playing when we met. When we. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, about 22. Yeah, so what position were you playing? Centre field. Right. And then I moved to pitcher. I went to Adelaide with the state team in 1956. Right. And never got an innings. Yeah. 
next year in 57 in Perth, I was all Australian pitcher. Yeah, oh, so it yeah. didn't take you long to pick up what to do with the ball in your yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Crudger told me. <laughs> Who was your catcher? Uh, Roy Beach. Oh, right, so it was a, like Roy a, and Keithy Hampson like a, was the next catcher. Yeah, but in the state team, who was your catcher? Uh, Dale. Dale Hughes. Hughes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, Cal, Cal Lilly boy. Yeah. And um, what's his name? Coach of West Perth. Oh, Ronnie Thornton. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah, he was, uh, he, he was an inter- influential coach, yeah. Ronnie Thornton, yeah. I remember. When I first came into A grade, he yeah. was um, yeah. he was really good. He was quite encouraging to me, actually, too. Yeah, as, as a kid coming through. Yeah, that's so, right. Good bloke, Ronnie Thornton. Yeah. He's living in Albany now. Yeah, is he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So um, it's very. So interesting. Your, your time in the Claxton Shield, uh, those years from uh, through to '67, was spent mainly as a pitcher. Uh, a bit of 50 50, yeah. I think. Yeah, so, if you weren't pitching, did they throw you in the outfield? Yeah, yeah. It, initially, but I, after I started pitching, I, mm. then I finished up at first base, mm. ironically, in the grand final. Because Peter May, who played first base, I forgot about Peter, yeah. Yeah. he was playing first base at the time. Oh, okay. And uh, he He's a sick or got injured, so Rod Good puts me at first place. Oh, right. I'd already pitched the grand final f- one hitter, oh, uh, yeah. s- final one hitter, yeah. and uh, I couldn't play in the grand final. I played at first base. Oh, <laughs> I right. couldn't pitch. Right. Oh, yeah. Kay pitched that one. Yeah. Yeah. So did you play in the, like the seven? I think they won seven in a row. Seven. In the I played in. Three of those, right? Uh, four, four. Right, be- uh, well, only, only because you came in because of your age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was the, it was the early fifties that they really started. Yeah, Gucci started that run. Yeah, yep. yeah. Where did, where did Roy Gooch come from to be Mate such an influence? Where Maureen was come from. Right. Yeah, he had the news agent. Right. At Maylands, and I remain that. He'd be an interesting one to know what his history was and. Uh, he played with South Perth. Oh, I did he before he came yeah, to Swans. Before he came to Swans, uh, and he is one of the studious guys I've ever seen. Yeah. He studies everything. Yeah. And he worked out if he tells me something that sort of made me feel pretty good, mm. I played better. Yeah. Inspirational sort Inspirational. of a coach. He was unbiased. So he was a bit of a stats man, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yes. Not he wouldn't tell you that, but I, I read no. that into him. Yeah, right. Uh, he's very yeah. studious, but it's one yeah. boy, yeah. deep, deep thinking person. He made everybody want to play for him. He he was marvellous. He used to mark out five diamonds every bloody practice. You know, on, on, on Midland the, Oval. On the ground. What was it like playing on Midland Oval in the wet? <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about that one. Uh, yeah, um, pretty good, except you had to dodge the water at the back of the catcher. You, oh, know, yeah. you might get drowned. Oh, that was <laughs> where, the, where, the track, bike, where the bike track came from. Bike track, yeah. And there was two funny things I can tell you. That was one of them. Um, Mellow Hoon was playing right field and had the cricket pitch yeah. at yeah, right field. Yeah. And you field it behind it or in front of it if oh, you yeah. could when it was wet. Yeah. So he was behind and anyway this bloke popped this ball up over first base of head and uh, he come chase you know how Mel is, he's just yeah. so smooth. Yeah. He picks the ball up. He picked the ball up and threw it to the home plate and he forgot the ball was in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> and he threw nothing. <laughs> it was so funny to see. Yeah, that, uh, and the other funny is there was that uh, Midland Railway ground. The big uh, D graders were playing, and you know the D graders usually have yeah. a couple of drinks every yeah. now and again, have a lot of fun with the club. Yeah. And uh, he was going back like this, going to the ball at centre field. And he uh, he fell over yeah. and actually fell in the water yeah. behind Centrefield 
There's no fence. No, right, no, no fence. Yeah. And uh, they had to go out and rescue him. Yeah. He couldn't get up. Oh, is that right? And there was water gone. <laughs> all over his body and chest. Yeah. yeah, that was so funny. I can remember that, like the mosquitoes at Midland Oval were like, yeah, um, were like, yeah, uh, big blowflies. They were just enormous. Yeah, and bite. Yeah, they were terrible. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, so another funny thing was uh, Bunny Garchel, which is Kevin's, Kevin's dad. dad. I got the cramp at cricket, they said. I got the cramp in both legs yeah. in the groin. Yeah. And one leg was going that way. Yeah. <laughs> and the old buddy comes out. He comes out with this drink and two salt tablets. Yeah. Right. And I didn't know what he got me, so I thought it was... I tried the salt tablet and drank this thing. It was ginger beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, did I pay for that that night. Is it was right? like a crook all night, you know. <laughs> Homemade ginger beer. Yeah. Hot, hot ginger beer. Yeah. He was a bit of a character, Rob. Oh, he was lovely. It was like um, uh, I was going to lead into the night games at the Wacker, but yeah, I had distinct yeah. memories of Old Man Gooch behind yeah, the home. Yeah, Old Man Gooch and in Ned Holt. Do remember him from Perth? Ned Holt. No, but I knew yeah. there was some other... Each... Each team seemed to have yeah, a demon yeah, behind them. Yeah. But he used to sit there with a the megaphone, yeah, abusing know. the hell out of yeah. the batters, and he couldn't get away with it today. Uh, no. Uh, Ned Holst used to call me nick- nickname Rattle, Rattle, Metal Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and every time he did that, I said, Well, another strike out. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So uh, night games at the Wacker, you you would have played um, yeah. like uh, summer. Ba- it was winter baseball. Yep. But the summer season, yeah, teams to... combined, didn't they? Yeah, we played cricket and baseball together. Y- yeah. Night baseball at the Wacker. Oh yeah. So but we played at Midland Oval from you know what time? Yeah. Is quarter past one to quarter mm. past six. Oh, yeah. Get in the car, <laughs> change on the way, yeah. <laughs> or in a drive. And change on the way and go with the whack and Saturday night. Saturday night. Straight yeah. after the cricket. What sort of crowds were there? Five to ten thousand at one yeah. stage. They were bloody huge, weren't they? I remember All the swan people then, you know, were yeah. mad on the baseball. Yeah, it was a really popular. All the vineyards. And for, for the five or six years it must have run. Like, yeah, not sure really good. But never went on. Ollie Drake Bachman tried to spruce it up. Uh, yeah, he was in the commentary box up and halfway up one of the light yeah. pylons. <laughs> and he used to comment. He a character. Yeah. But uh, do you remember any of the characters from the the night baseball? Because it was all about entertainment. Randy McPherson hit three home runs off Brian Crutchett. That's a feat in itself. Is that one right? night, I think. In one game? In one game. Oh. Yeah. And they walked him the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> what was Bandy like? Was he uh, was he um... Rodney was a raw player. He was yeah. he was uncanny. You know, he, yeah. he could do some things that most other people couldn't. Yeah. yeah. What position did he play in the field? Centre field mostly. Oh, was he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was only a little bloke. No, not when he hits you. <laughs> <laughs> he was well built. Yeah. But he wasn't tall. Because. Uh, like uh, during your home and away games, there was no home run fences, were there? Uh, they had a home run fence, I think, at the Wacker. Well, Wacker right? definitely had a home run fence, yeah. yeah that was and the, the lighting wasn't that crash hot. No. You know. No. But uh, did you have much success at the Wacker playing yeah, under lights? Yeah, yeah. We eventually won that. I think that photo we gave to Doug. Doug, yeah. Had the. I don't know why there was only eight players there, but the, yeah. either Roy Hampton. Yeah, Hampson was a catcher. Okay, Keithy Hampson. Keithy Hampson. Mm. He wasn't in the photo, and I don't know how that photo came about. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, they they tried to emulate night games later on yeah. at uh, at the at the Claremont Showgrounds. I remember. Yeah. With a yellow ball, but it was nothing like the atmosphere. Yeah. At the Wacker. Terrible. Yeah. It's terrible rap. Yeah. Swan rod. So was it just all swans at the Wacker or was it were you combined with another side? Uh, no. 
No, in the night series, we were the only side that played by themselves. All the other sides were combined. Right. You know, Swans were somewhat strong enough to stand. Yeah, up. well, we won seven premierships. <laughs> yeah, another bloke that uh, I admitted was in that Gooch era was Rodney Byrne. Yeah, yeah. He was a yeah. monster of a player. He was the next... He was the next bracket up. Yeah, he sort of he came. He played with Bellevue initially in the low, low, you know, lower grades. Right, yeah. yeah. And then he came come over. I don't know who brought him over or how he came yeah. to him. But uh, I remember one time at Rod Burn, you talk about him, we were playing at Perth Oval. I don't know whether it was a state game or a club game, but mm. I was centre field and Rod was left field. And the ball come out that outfield, and I'm ready. I'm mine, 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 mine. I caught the ball, and then the train ran over me. <laughs> Rodney, it was his ball too. I did two cartwheels, apparently. Yeah. They tell me. Did you see that? Probably. <laughs> well, that reminds me. Of I it. still had the ball. <laughs> you still had the ball in your hand, and the, the glove in your hand. Yeah. Well, that reminds me. Uh, the first night game I played at the Wacker was about 17, 16, 17, I think I drove down there, that's why I think I was 17, but um, Brian Hodder was at centre field and I was at left field, and this ball came out and it was had my name on it, you know what it's like, you just yeah. want that ball, yeah. and yeah, I was leaning out to my left and I, and I threw myself full length to, to catch it, and I went bang! Straight into Brian Otter. Oh, oh. Anyhow, I got up and the ball's over there and I'm dazed <laughs> and Brian's unconscious just about. And uh, Kay Greenham come out and says, what are you blokes doing? And he picked them all up because there was blokes running around the bases and he threw it in. Anyhow, they called time and came out and Brian was on the ground and they finished up carting him off. Wow. But um, I found out later that uh, he'd, he'd either had an operation on his heart or he's about to. He was one of the yeah. first ones to have an open heart surgery on his heart. Oh, I Anyhow, didn't know that. Um, yeah, so I, I was sort of numb, you know, I thought, God, what have yeah. I done to this bloke? And a follow-up to that story was, I was an altar boy at Midland, and one night came out, came out of benediction at the Catholic Church there in Midland. Yeah. And Sheila Crichton, that's Brian's, wife yeah, or fiance yeah, at the time yeah. she really ripped into me for, for hurting Brian you know you're trying to kill my, <laughs> kill my husband but we have a laugh about that even yeah. today so yeah, yeah there was yeah, another that's... story you told me about a ball bouncing off some bloke's head yeah um, that was um, Ted Edels mm. his son played for Australia right. yeah, uh, um, pitcher Right. You know, the young Edels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, he, he uh, was playing centre field and he ran in on a pop fly, you know, there yeah. to centre field. And he went like that. And the lights were very bad yeah. in the outfield. And he went like that and hit him on the forehead and then bounced foul. Right. From, say, 20 metres behind second base. Yeah. He went foul. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> right on the head. Right. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, that was really, well, funny, funny to funny tell at the it. Time, yeah. yeah. When you were, um, at this time in your career, were you playing cricket, you still playing cricket and baseball, and you were selected to play for Western Australia in the Sheffield Shield team? Yeah. Where yeah. did you play those games? Where? Uh, yeah. South Australia and Queensland. Was it on the same tour? Yeah, we did a four-state tour. We went to South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. Oh, so you went away for a couple of weeks? A what, month. A month? Yeah, well, four-day games. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how did people survive in those oh. days with the job? And we couldn't, could we? I finished up in baseball. I didn't go to Queensland because we said it's too long. Yeah. To go there because we're missing out on money for work. And yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Lucky I was with my brother and we bought driving trucks. Yeah. 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 What were you carting? Logs. Oh, okay. Log hauling for eighteen years. To where? To Perth. From yeah, what from were the logs? Midland to what Har- were the logs we um, used for? Harvey and back to um, Walshpool. Were they for like? Uh, Log B- truck. B- buildings, were they? Yeah, log trucks that oh, cut okay. up Jarrah. You never had anything to do with uh, 
carting wood into Whiteman's Briggs? No. 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 Just on that cricket, um, you mentioned you were injured. Yeah, um, the first time was uh, at the cricket. Mm. I think, no, hang on. Yeah, uh, I think it was at, at Hart, the balance. Yeah, got yeah, the tip. Right. I uh, was played in Brisbane and we went to Vic, it's New South Wales, so I didn't play in that game. And uh, I was going to be picked in Victoria, I was mm. told. Mm. And I hurt this part. Yeah. Painful, I suppose. Yeah, oh, ran, God, ran I couldn't do that. Yeah, hip. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't do anything. Mm. And I got dropped. And you know who replaced me? Mm. Graham McKenzie. Oh, is that right? He was 17 years of age. He made a name for himself. Yeah. Uh, um, and the other time was in baseball. I was pitching 13 degrees maximum temperature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we had those sleeves, you know. Winter time. And, and they just dragged down like this. Yeah. Over your hand, you'd have to yeah. pull it. Oh, horrible, and I injured my shoulder. Yeah. And the bloke worked on me. I could have played next day, but I, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, uh, Melbourne was such a... Yeah, both in Melbourne. The only time they, I got injured. Yeah, they played football over there yeah, with, with, with sleeveless guernseys on yeah. on those grounds. Yeah. Because the mud just stuck to you. Yeah. So your uh, Sheffield Chill number was 204. Yeah. And I noticed on the record there that Another baseballer was Arthur Lodge. Yeah. And he was a couple of numbers uh, just, before, just before or yeah. after you. I think he was in front of me. Yeah. yeah, so you would have been playing with Arthur. Can you remember any of those names? Of Murray like, Vernon, oh, Barry oh, Shepherd, right. Ken Millman, right. uh, Ron Gaunt, mm. Des Hall. Mm. Uh, was Keith Slater playing state yeah, cricket? Keith Slater, yeah, Keith Slater, yeah. Keith and I played just about everything together. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. That's yeah. amazing to come yeah. through. We knew each other from, since with that eye. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And, and Kevin Kevin Gartrell yeah, came Kevin. in later. Yeah. I remember he scored 100 at the, uh, at the MCG Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. In, in later years. It was funny, I never scored 100 in no grade mm. uh, because I was originally picked as a batsman. Mm. Uh, but I scored, t- they dropped me to a reserve, I scored mm. 205 not out. <laughs> oh, is that right? In, in sort of seconds. Picked pick me back at I got a duck. <laughs> oh, is that right? What round was that at? Where did you score your uh, 200? Down at James Oval in, in uh, university. Oh, yeah. Very small ground. Yeah. I legged Lance three sixes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the grounds, um, like we talked about Midland Oval being wet. Yeah. Um, but some of the other grounds that you would have played against in baseball, uh, the Diamonds, uh, those grounds would have been uh, pretty waterlogged too, I imagine. Yeah, most of them were not bad, really. Midland Over Over was the worst. Yeah, Midland Over because it had the water around. Um, Fremantle Oval, I played cricket there and it was wet. Uh, I got nine wickets in that bloody game. I love wet wickets. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and Kevin Gartrell bugging me ten wickets up because he wanted to go out. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Middle uh, Fremantle Oval had a cycle track around. Yeah, it, yeah, that's so. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we these, these you're gone. We used to go and watch the cycling at Midland quite often, as a group. You know, yeah. when you're young. Oh, kid, yeah, yeah, that was a big saw, thing. Saw a bloke, world champion. I forget his name now. Steel Bishop. Oh, way back. Uh, oh, Patterson? Patterson, that's the way. Never Sid, got off the seat. Sid Patterson. He didn't yeah. need to. He had legs like bloody lad pops. Yeah, you see these cyclists today, oh. and they're there. They've got the legs like logs Steel. of wood. Oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're enormous. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the grounds you played at were uh, um, no home run fences, of course. Yeah, most yeah. of them, yeah. So, I remember playing at... Um, Peter Shimoval, mm. and uh, it was 465 feet, I think, mm. and and it still had ground behind it. Oh, yeah. it was, no, sorry, it never had the ground, but it had a seat behind it, oh, yeah. about 30 metres behind the, the, the actual, the ground went up like yeah. that, so... 
from there to that seat. And that was a renowned thing, that seat at that ground. And uh, John Kelly uh, was batting and he hit one short of the seat. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable hit. Yeah. And uh, the other play, which was phenomenal, was such a long way mm. to go from centre field to middle to the catcher. Mm. And this bloke hit one right out to right centre. Yeah. And uh, Rod Byrne picked it up, threw it to me, and I picked it up and threw it to the home plate. And there was 20 players that Roy Gooch had tagged any one of them, they would have been out. <laughs> and he got safe because they carried him across the bloody ground. Oh, home it. plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is in the Claxton Shield game. Yeah, in the Claxton Shield, you know, yeah. Peterson. Now, when they call him the Peterson, what is it, Peterson? I'll get it after a while. <laughs> yeah, this is in New South Wales, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That was the main headquarters. Yeah. Peterson Push. Oh, yeah. It's called. Oh, yeah. You know, I Tony, don't know what reason. Um, what was your best best pitching performance that you would have? I remembered? think the one at the WAC at the uh, Esplanade when I pitched eleven innings, yeah. and the bloke miss hit one over the infield, and we lost five four. Right. I think was that's that a final, was it? that. If we had won that game, we would have played them again. Oh yeah. For the grand final, I would have started pitching again. Merv, uh, Mug Merv Muggled was a coach, and he said, "You, you warm up, we're ready to play. If oh, yeah. if if uh, warm up, I've already thrown eleven. <laughs> this is this is in a in a Klaxis, 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 So yeah. you played at the Esplanade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the Esplanade. I, I remember playing baseball at the Ozone. Yeah, at Langley yeah. Park. No, Esplanade. Uh, Esplanade was it's specifically just for one-off yeah. things. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, about that. Langley Park we played. I remember Dougie Hanson got a hit off me and only hit off me for the game. Yeah. And I was too lazy to catch it. I should have caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I went like that and I yeah. missed. Yeah. So but you, weren't, you weren't a bad hitter either. You must have... Uh, yeah, I was an av average bat. hitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was better... better at pitching. And left, hand, left hander again. Yeah, no. Yeah. Where did you bat in the lineup? When I first started, I was playing about three or four, and then uh, I started bowling, and I dropped down the list, you know, because yeah. you, you just haven't got that. This is in cricket. Yeah, yeah. cricket. And uh, I started bowling, so mm. I was batting like a chook down below, you know. Yeah. Keith Slater said, Go and open the bloody batting, he said, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I opened the batting, I got 500 odd run, nearly 500 runs. For the year. Yeah, for the year, which is right. what Ollie Drake Bachman had me, Cricket right. of the Year, 6PR right. Cricket of the Year. Oh, yeah. Who was your opening partner? Uh, oh, there's many. Uh, yeah. See, I got. <laughs> Gates two sports. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting the hard word on you. Um, so from your playing days, um, I remember you playing in a grand final. It was either Perth Oval or um, Lathlane. And it was uh, must have been about 62, 63. And uh, I think Swans won that, but there was a big brawl. And uh, uh, can you recall that? I know so there's one in the night baseball. Some, some, oh yeah, go on, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, the night baseball. I think it was something between Terry Lean and me at first base. Mm. I, I, I don't remember that clearly, but that yeah. thing happened. Yeah. The way they went, all in, and Les Murray was right out of left field, so he charged and in full ball. Yeah. Like that, and he jumped on the top, and the bloke hit him with a fist. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumped back at him. <laughs> I'll never forget that. It didn't happen today. Uh, yeah. They, they, they frown on that today. Yeah. I think that was at the Wacker. Wacker. Oh, yeah. mm. So at the end of the... Um, towards the end of your playing days, uh, you left Swans, or you actually went to Morley e Eagles? Was yeah. it Morley Eagles? Yeah. No, it was American Eagles. American Eagles. Yeah. Or East Perth? or East, No, we changed it to East Perth Eagles. Well, where was your home ground? Perth Oval. Right, okay. You know, 
Yeah, yeah. the table. Was so this is about the time when summer baseball came in in '65. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I I just can't put years together. No, no, that's fine. So what mm. what year do you reckon you finished playing? Oh. Did that's I finish? <laughs> yeah, because you were coaching. Uh, you coached when I went to Brisbane in '72. Mm. You were coaching then. So uh, how yep, many years would you have been out of the game playing when you were coaching? Uh, Four or five years. I probably. think I was 37 still playing. Still playing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. With, with uh, Morley, with East Bay. Morley right. at uh, Wanneroo. Oh, yeah. So I finished you playing. Could just hang around East Perth here for a minute. Mm. How long did you uh, were you at? Or ten years, roughly. Ten years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. And we never won a premiership. We played in grand finals and finals. Never won a premiership. The year mm. I left, they won it. Oh, right. <laughs> so, so were you coaching that team? Yeah. Right. More Eagles, yeah. Yeah, right. Jim Waddell and uh, Grant Mount Sims. Oh, yeah, Graham Crockford. Was, was he there? He was, he was the catcher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah remember him. Yeah. yeah. We just had a team that won three games in three years when I come yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, you had quite a successful stint, though, even though well, you never won. Well, with the success of Maureen and the juniors that were out at uh, what's the name that street out there, um, uh, where that's next to Crimea Park. There's a little, little area they played all the juniors there. And Mawson Park. Mawson Park. Ma Mawson. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, um, all the blokes come from there, you know, like uh, all, all the crutchets and all those, oh, yeah. you know, the other crutchets, younger oh, ones, yeah. and uh, all those Adamsons and all those, oh, and yeah. was, uh, Mitchell. Was that, was that East Perth, um, did you play against East Perth when you were playing for Swans? Like, were they in the competition? No, no. Uh, they, they were in yes, we that, did, yes, we did. did. I'll tell you a little <coughs> one about that. We were playing them at the Ozone, yeah. playing more Eagles for the last game of the year, and they were leading us 5-1 in the ninth innings, yeah. and we won. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Someone collapsed. The uh, bloke at third base went to field the ball, he grabbed the ball and threw about 20 metres over <laughs> first base. For the runners, it's open ground. And yeah, those yeah. Are, and <laughs> we won. Yeah. Yeah. And bloke dropped a catch at uh, centre field, and we just got an, K Green and I think got a hit, and we won. Yeah, and that's how we were. We, you know, we could come from nowhere. Yeah. yeah, well, you had the strength and the oh, uh, marvellous. You know, the strength yeah. in those teams in those yeah. days was amazing. Kevin Gartrow as a, as a fielder was none better in cricket than yeah. him. Yeah, he could hit the stump sideways. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how good he was. Um, so Morley, your time yeah. at uh, East Perth um, was good, wasn't it? Came to an end. And yeah, um, you were enticed to go to Wanneroo, or what was? No, the we finished. Uh, they sort of. I don't know how to put it. I was sort of eased out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, in a way, because I wanted Don Knapp to coach. Oh, yeah, right. And uh, certain people in the club, so mm. it doesn't matter much. Yeah, that would have been 72, because that year that you coached us in 72 yeah. was Nappy's first year here, yeah. and he won the yeah. Helms Award. Yeah, we, we were a uh, host of him at uh, Penguin Island. We were camping down there, oh, yeah. and he come over, and that night the bloody power off <laughs> went off at Safety Bay, all that area oh, was yeah. black. Yeah, <laughs> and some person, someone's invaded our country and <laughs> shot all the lights out. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a family thing, you know. But yeah. mine had a lot to do with the juniors of that particular area. Oh yeah, yeah, it was very really good. All the young guys become Mitchells and all those. Yeah. Things. Uh, at East Perth. Yeah, at East Perth. Yeah. That, so you, become you had, West Australians. So as, as well as your involvement with the A grade team, yeah. you, you had an involvement with the juniors? Uh, not the junior club wise. Yeah. Graham Sims was in charge of mm. that. Yeah. He coached a lot of state teams and oh, yeah. underage. Yeah. 
Um, but you would have brought kids through from... Yeah, so oh, we, yeah. I think we worked it out that there was 24 West Australians played for Morley mm. over the period of 10 years. Yeah. And I think there's, I wouldn't be sure, maybe 8 to 10 All-Australians mm. out of those kids mm. who played in that era. Mm. Uh, what was the, the families? I've forgotten all their names. Yeah, that right. many, yeah. Barry know. Stace is a, uh, a name that comes to mind. Was yeah. he playing with? Uh, he was playing with Morley Eagles at one stage. Yes, he? yeah. He was was he was playing a, under you? Y- yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, I was first base and he was pitching. Right. And I didn't know whether he was pitching or throwing <laughs> <back you>. off. <laughs> <laughs> Half the time yeah. I'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> He's picked, picked, picked yeah, off. He, he was an exceptional baseball. Yep. Um, we talked about it earlier in those photos I showed you of Brutal at Brisbane in 72 yeah. when um, Brisbane was flooded out. Yep. And we played one day in the rain. It just rained all day. Yeah. Stacey pitched. Yeah. He went back to the hotel and put his arm in ice yeah. and come out and you pitched him in the next day and he, still, yeah. and he won again. Yeah. He, he was an exceptional player. Oh, and batter un- too. Uncanny. He couldn't read him. He couldn't mm. read him. No well, way. Well, if I couldn't well, read the yeah. pitcher, how mm. can the opposition read him? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, he, he was an exceptional player. So, um, yeah, so your time at Morley sort of uh, yeah, comes to an end. Yeah. And uh, was, was Doug playing juniors then? Yes, he was playing juniors for them. Wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He, he would have been playing under thirteens. So I remember. He was at, He was in the A grade when you left. Was he? Yeah. I didn't think it was. Yeah. yeah. So, so you went over to. Um, you you don't remember the year you went over to, to Wanneroo? No. no. Anyhow, so you moved over there. Were you living over that way? We were living here. Oh, right. Another place down the road. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so we virtually one. played wherever we lived. Yeah, right. Yeah. We played with Swans, we yeah. played with Morley. Yeah. We played with us. And where was the, um, the, the early formation of Wanneroo? Did mm. you have any part to play in the early formation? Yeah, you had to go. Of the Wanneroo Baseball Club? Yeah, had to apply through the league to get permission to play. Right. And um, what grades did you come into? They the were a, set, a, a reserve when I right. went there, yeah. and we played for a year like that, and then we tried to get A grade, and eventually got it. Yeah, a lot of uh, people were against it because it interfered with the the uh, division of ground. You oh, know, okay. like, uh, it was like dis- district territory, ba- district yeah. baseball, wasn't it? District that? baseball, yeah, yeah, that's the word. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so where West, was the, West Sterling were very bad about it because it was encroaching. Poaching players. They were encroaching in mm. our territory, like Warwick Road and Beach mm. Road. Yeah, you know, right. and That's where all the young people were. Yeah, who had the Kareen area? Um, I don't know. know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so you you uh, were able to uh, recruit from. From this area, yeah, we got different guys. I can't remember all well, Dougie Oliphant and those guys played, and they were just they came out. He was from he was originally with Wembley, yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. Dougie Oliphant, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so were you playing with Wanneroo? Were you, yeah, co- yeah, yeah. Oh, so you were playing, yeah, yeah, it was first base, first base, yep, yeah, yeah. You can play first base for a long time, yeah, <laughs> you don't yeah. have to run too far, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, you, you're in the you're in the play there too. You're sort of able to sort of direct yeah. traffic. Yeah, oh, we you? got some good kids, you know, but I I, I can't remember. No, so where, where was the the original ground that Wanneroo played? They on? played at Mawson. Uh, Mawson was um, Wanneroo home ground, uh, ground when we took over. That's right. And then we got through Mick Nanovich, We got the oval at Kingsway. Kingsway, yeah, yeah. and that's the home ground now. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah, named we were, after me. We were talking about that, the, the Tony Metalgen Field, they called yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they've got anything official up there. but No, uh, well, it's a little bit the same, I think I was telling you about Swan's Ground. Yeah. It was named Charlie Hodder Field. Yeah. On Google Maps, it's Charlie Hodder Field. Yeah. And at the back of the home plate, there's a, just a sign there on a, on a tin yeah. plate that says 
Charlie Hotter Field, but there's no official recognition as far as the, yeah. the local authority is concerned. Yeah, and newspapers, they well, used yeah. to have write-ups, you know, yeah, like right. Madeline Kingsway Madeline. Field. Tony Cut. Middleton Cut. Field oh. at Kingsway. Oh, OK. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's gone too, I think. Yeah. But, so... Uh, so uh, what's some of the names that we had from uh, Emerson Reserve was one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Emerson. Emerson. Emerson Reserve. Yeah, that Close was in, to Mawson. <laughs> that, that was in, in Morley, was it? Yeah, off, um, what's the name of that street? Yeah. Where the Crimea yeah. main ground is, just a few yeah. few blocks down. Yeah. yeah. Further. So uh, you, you spent the rest of your days... Uh, in your involvement with Wanneroo Baseball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they, you were honoured with a life membership. Yeah. In um, 84, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... And, and Doug won the Helms Award in 83, playing right. for Wanneroo. He was playing for Wanneroo, yeah. so he came from Morley. Yeah. Did he come uh, the same yeah. time as you? No, a bit later. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah. And Stevie Belgera, Steve, he came Steve, from Morley. Steve, Steve. He would have came, he would have followed Doug, I suppose. Yeah, well, those two are together, yeah, that's twins. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they used to go to school. And yeah. Maureen would come home, Doug would come home from school, and Maureen said, you've been smoking? He said, no, that's the bloke next door. <laughs> and, of course... Steve Belger would go home. He says, you've been smoking. He said, no, it's a bloke next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob themselves in. Yeah, well, Steve played Claxton Chill. Yeah, there was a lot of players, you know. Mm. The group that Moyen, Moyen used to stand there and they used to pull up with the car, open the door and the kid would go, you know. Oh, yeah. After a while, Moyen would go around the other side, yeah. have a little chat with yeah. the people. Eventually they had practice they had a group of people down the first baseline yeah. you know yeah. cheering them at practice did so, uh, did, did the Wanneroo Baseball Club sort of um, uh, finish up sort of uh, you, you were quite proud of what you did at Wanneroo oh absolutely you yeah. know from a club that play no reserve to yeah. what it is now one yeah. of the strongest clubs in Australia yeah there you go no one's got grounds like they have yeah you know. yeah uh, three diamonds and plus the football ground. Do you have any involvement with him now? No. 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 Oh, he used to turn up when they had uh, trophy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. What was it it's called? Like an award night. You know, he used to, um, the sponsors. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sponsors day. Yeah. And I would yeah. invited yeah. to yeah. entertain. Uh, so. Really Looking back where you are now, today, at your age, what sort of stands out? Is cricket or you know, like any, oh. any, any particular highlights that stand out as far as cricket or baseball? Oh, they're all different highlights, I imagine, you know. Uh, winning the cracks and shields are the thing that I would have loved. I don't think I did. No. Um, we, playing shield cricket would have been better yeah. if I had got more of a go. Uh, but mm. you know, well, it was a big yeah. ask playing yeah. playing at that oh, level yeah. and having to go away. Yeah, I know what it was like for me to have to go away and take leave and yeah. leave the family and the young kids. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, know. You, you had gaps in yeah. the years that you went away because yeah. Yeah. kids were coming along and. Yeah. That's and, right. You know, it's an extra financial burden, you know. Yeah. We used to go away by train. Yeah. You yeah. would have gone away by train. train yeah, that's the first and trip. No, um, they were planes. Cricket was cricket planes. Was cricket, even in the yeah. early days. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, because, uh, you know, you only had the one day to get there. Yeah. Uh, sort of situation. Mm. Uh, we'd leave on a one day and we'd be mm. two days and we'd be in Adelaide. Mm. Any great players that sort of come to mind? Oh, too many. Too many, too many to name. Yeah, um, you know, there's numerous. Barry Stace, you yeah. know. Like and you Torben. mentioned Crutchett and the yeah, early Don days. Mapp, Don Mapp. Mm. Doug, Doug learned a lot off Don Mapp. Of course he would, yeah. Yeah, by watching him. Mm. You know, he was... But Doug was a natural talent, didn't he? Yeah, but he, he learnt a lot from Doug. Yeah, Matt, you know, yeah. Watching him, how to... Uh, yeah. He was a very studious kid playing baseball. Yeah. 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 And no, it's, uh, the whole family was involved in baseball. It's not only just 
Yeah. Doug and me this morning and yeah. you know, helped with all the everything. Yeah, from juniors all the way through. Yep, so and, and even, she was carting juniors around yeah. ever since they could play. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Going from the swan to Fremantle. <laughs> all over the metropolitan yeah, area. All over the metropolitan mm. area. Great credit to Maureen because especially yeah. with Morley Eagles, she did a lot of good work there. Mm. But did you get have you get did you get a life membership at Morley? Sorry, Mark. Did you get a life membership at Morley? No. No. Uh, yeah. They said that they they were would have given me one when Tony got it, but there was a club ruling that only one a year. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you know, no, you, you, both, you both should be proud of the contribution yeah. that you've given oh, yeah. to, to yeah. baseball in Western Australia. And uh, congratulations on a, on a great career, Tony. Thanks. It's you. been a pleasure to be here today yeah. Yeah. talking to you. I knew you as a young kid, and, <laughs> and it's been great to catch up with you yeah, today. No, thank, thanks very much, mate. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks.